Hey there, this is Dr. Dane Donahue, and I'm going to explain the uh, Wellness Score Core Flexibility Testing. And in your Wellness Score, we do four uh, movements to test for core flexibility. So I'm going to go through those movements. Each movement, obviously, is going to be worth one point, so there's a total of four points. If a person scores a four on the test, that's the best they can do. If they score zero, that's the worst. And I'll explain how each test is either a pass or a fail. So the first thing that we're going to do is for upper uh, thoracic and shoulder mobility. We want to see how a patient is able to extend or externally rotate uh, their shoulders and upper thoracic and cervical spine. So we do something called a shoulder pass-through. This is just a piece of PVC. It's about a four and a half, five foot piece of PVC. And all we're going to have them do is take a nice wide grip on this, stand up real tall, and we're going to have them pass that bar all the way through and touch their lower back. If they can do that, straight arms, no bend in the elbows, that's a pass. If they do it and there's any pain, that's a fail. So if there's pain or they can't hold on and touch their lower back, that's a fail. Okay. The next test that we're going to do uh, is we do a uh, core, uh, we do an overhead squat. Excuse me. So the overhead squat is we're simply going to take the bar here and put it over our head and watch the patient squat all the way down and then all the way back up again. And a pass here is where they can get the bar all the way overhead and they can do a full squat without breaking forward and without not being able to do it. So a patient when they can't do it or when they fail, they'll either be restricted, they get to here and then they do this because their lower back can't extend or they don't have good mobility or you'll see in their feet or their ankles what happens is they'll come here and then their knees will come up and out because they have no ankle or, or knee mobility. So a good, good test looks something like this. They're going to come all the way down and then all the way back up again, and you don't see that bar move. Bad test, they break forward, their ankles come up, their knees turn in, you just see some asymmetrical movement. So that's the two standing core flexibility tests, and then we do um, two uh, flexibility tests on the table. So what we'll do is we'll do a hamstring test, and you can either do this active or passive. So if you just take a look here, what I'm going to do is an active straight leg raise, and what I like to see is 90 degrees of active hip flexion, right? So you can take their leg and you can assist them to 90 degrees, right? If they get to 80 degrees, I'll pass them. If they get to 40, 50 degrees, I fail them, okay? And we do that on both sides. I usually like to do it active first, have them raise, and then usually I'll come behind and then do a pass and straight leg raise. The other one we do is a prone hip extension. So we're lying prone. We ask the patient to fully extend the hip and lift up as high as they can. We look for 30 degrees of hip, flex, or hip extension. So we're looking for hip extension, 30 degrees of hip extension. So they're just going to come up, raise the leg as high as they can. We look for 30 degrees, no pain. Uh, sometimes patients will rotate their pelvis. They'll lift up and do this to get there. That, that would be a fail as well. So I just look at when they're doing it. I ask them to lift the leg, straight leg, no bend in the knees. Lift all the way up. See if they can get 30 degrees of hip extension. 30 degrees on both sides. Okay. And that's the core flexibility testing.